Well, good morning. It's the uh, Sunday, the 8th of May, 2022, and uh, I did it. I told you I was going to do it. Well, I alluded to it in the last video that I was looking at a uh, another bike, and uh, here it is. It's a Royal Enfield um, Interceptor 650 Mark II. Um, it was delivered on Thursday and it's its first ride out this morning and uh, first ride out has been a wet one I uh, um, just stopped for five minutes just to uh, have a look around and uh, have a little break try and dry my gloves uh, yeah, so uh, I went out and uh, went out and got one i uh, um, done 15 miles on it so far so uh, it is, uh, it is its maiden trip, um, and great at the moment, nothing at all to complain about, you can't do really do a great deal with it at the moment, um, a running period, so we can't do more than 4,000 revs. The roads are wet this morning and the tyres are new, so I'm taking it very easy, and we're uh, we're off on a trip up to Long Mind, so I thought Long Mind would probably be a good place for its first journey. So we'll pop up there and have a look at what's going on. Um, Got to get 300 miles on it for its first service, which will be uh, won't be long really. I'll probably get 100 miles on today, and then uh, out in the week probably. So a couple of weeks time, it'll be ready for its first service. 300 mile service. Um, so this is my alternative to me uh, um, Tracer 9 GT. So I've now got two bikes to uh, to play with. As you know, I went from three to two to one, and I missed having something different. Uh, I love the Tracer, I love everything it does, but just wanted something a little bit different to, uh, to have some fun with it. Uh, and this ticks every single box I can think of. Um, so there you go, uh, there's your first look at it. Anybody who's uh, is interested in uh, Royal Enfields um, at the moment, Brilliant. I oh, probably noticed I put Scorpion uh, Scorpion cans on it. I had the dealer put them on for me. So uh, they're not standard. They're going to go up in the loft. Um, yeah, so uh, it sounds absolutely brilliant. And I'm sure you'll hear as we get into the video. So there we go. This church here, by the way, is absolutely stunning. Usually it has. Oh, it's still going. There it is. You always has the flag of St. George flying on it. Um, this is the uh, Enville. And it's just uh, St Mary's Church in Enville. Beautiful church. Beautiful. So I just thought I'd stop. This was in like a idyllic spot to stop and have a look and uh, just let it cool down for five minutes before we move on. Yeah, one of the uh, requirements of the running in is that you try and let it cool down every sort of 15, 20 miles. Uh, stop, let it cool down and start again. So that's what I'm doing. So there you go. I'll catch you a bit later as we move, as we get up towards uh, Long Mind. Right, so we're on the road between uh, Mutchwen Lock and Church Stretton. Uh, the B4371. Lovely stretch of road. The perfect sort of road for running in uh, the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, I alluded uh, on the last video I did when I went up to uh, Burton Dasset Country Park uh, that I was thinking to get another bike and it, uh, it's this bike that I was thinking about I just wanted something retro something that harked back to uh, the earlier bikes I used to have uh, back in the 80s um, it's Suzuki GP, GP100, GP100 springs to mind and I just uh, started to read the reviews and uh, every single review was positive and a friend of mine, Gary, he had one and he loved it uh, Hello Gary if you're watching um, and it just seemed to tick loads of boxes in terms of simplicity and just a fun bike to do what I'm doing now um, rather than, uh, you know, I've got the Tracer 9 for touring and I've got this for, for playing around on. So I dropped down from three bikes to to one bike. Um, 
and I love the trace and I I just wanted something that would just slightly different, something different, something novel, and, uh, and this ticks the boxes, so went out and got one. Um, I bought this from uh, QB Motorcycles in uh, Quarry Bank. Uh, great customer service in there. Went in to have a look. Um, there's no pressure from them. They showed me a couple of bikes, but I'd already decided which one I wanted when I went in, to be honest. So um, the deal was done, and a week later uh, they delivered it. Uh, Thursday just gone, and uh, it's been in the garage since then, waiting for the weekend. Um, so this is, uh, say, the first ride out, and I'm, uh, I'm in the process of running it in, or breaking it in, or whatever you want to call it, so... Uh, limited to 4,000 revs, but you don't need to be doing any more, really, so... Comfort-wise, uh, very comfortable, to be honest. Uh, perfect height for me, I'm only 5 foot... Uh, 5 foot, just under 5 foot 8. So, uh, in the Tracer 9, it's a bit of a bit tall for me, but this one is uh, just about dead right actually. And as I say, it does hark back to uh, bikes I had when we youth. And uh, yeah, I really like it. Um, comparison to things like the Thruxton R and the Bob Black I had, there's nowhere near the, the, the torque on this that I had on them. But then I didn't expect them to be, and I'm not looking for that. Um, in terms of similarity to bikes I've had previously, similar in terms of uh, torquiness to my uh, Yamaha XV900, XV950 or XV900, I can't remember. It was a 900 or a 950, God, my memory's getting worse. So torque-wise, very similar to that. Uh, so I can't really tell what it will do when I want to... Uh, use a, a burst of torque for overtaking the stuff because I'm just taking it easy at the moment for as you know to run it in so we'll find out but I don't think there's gonna be any problems with it. And it's just smooth. Really smooth. Um, suspension, I've heard lots of people say the suspension's not up to much. Um, it is a budget bike and you don't expect it to be but to be honest I haven't had any really severe potholes or poor road surface yet and it's uh, it seems more than adequate. And I haven't even looked what settings it's on, to be honest, the rear. I know you can't adjust the front, but you can adjust the rear. And I haven't even had a look what uh, what the suspension settings on the rear are. And to me, at the moment, it just seems fine. So, uh, so there's that riding position. Very comfortable. Uh, engine sound is, is wonderful. Uh, um, amplified slightly by the Scorpion cans that I had uh, the QB put on for me. And, uh, and, they, and it just sounds brilliant. Uh, but they are uh, legal pipes, so you don't need to worry about changing them back if you're doing your uh, for MOTs and stuff like that. Um, and the baffles are in, and they sound up just more than enough. More than enough uh, noise for me. And if you just just beautiful sound, I don't know whether you're picking it up. But there you go. In terms of the gearing. Very, very smooth. Uh, I can find it'll pull in all gears. Uh, again, limited to the revs I'm doing, but it does pull in all gears. I'm trying to move through the gearbox with it a little bit just to uh, help everything bed in. Um, so, yeah, the sake, clutch extremely smooth. Um, unfortunately, there's no adjustment on the levers, so you are, they are where they are. So. Uh, and I've got short fingers and small hands, so that, you know, it's just something I'm going to have to deal with. It's not a problem, really. Slight stretch. Um, yeah, so QB, um, they're pretty much a local uh, Royal Enfield, nearest Royal Enfield dealer to me. I had bought a bike from them in the past. Back in uh, 2000, I think it was, I bought uh, a brand new um, Honda Hornet 600 from them. And, uh, as I say, uh, great service from, uh, from popping in saying I want it to, uh, to be delivered. Perfect. Uh, yeah, so it's a uh, second bike now. Uh, so I'm back to uh, having a bit of a choice. I, uh, I, was, I was telling my friend Paul, um, 
when I bought the Tracer 9 GT that it was going to be a multi-purpose because it is, you, you can use it for touring, you can use it for hooning around and it's, you know, it's, so I, I pretty much covered all my bases with that one but just, it, it's just a retro that I wanted, the retro look and the retro feel and uh, and this is perfect so I think it'll be, uh, the Tracer will do the touring and, uh, and the odd Sunday uh, run around and this will uh, this will be me uh, the sun's out so I'm off out for a for a couple of hours bike which is absolutely perfect for that so uh, I had some good feedback from the last video thank you for that uh, so I'm, I'm very uh, this is going to be just a, um, a sure to introduce everybody who's interested to the bike so a short video so I've been come out with all with much of me much of, much of me tech this morning I've just bought the GoPro uh, and that's it and uh, just to capture this first first experience uh, so you can see it uh, there's no problem with it I hope you can hear the engine so uh, there you go so um, there's an interesting uh, there's some quite interesting uh, Facebook groups for the uh, Interceptor 650, they seem quite a friendly bunch of people, the strange thing with some of these Facebook groups for motorbikes is they, uh, I don't know what it is, but some of them, it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, they're not the nicest places to be, but uh, what I've found so far with the with the guys, that must be different types of people, and they're drawn to different types of bikes, that the, uh, the Royal Enfield Interceptor group are, uh, are very friendly, and uh, and uh, it's a good banter, and uh, it all seems very relaxed, which is really nice. And I say it's probably, it's probably to do with the, uh, the, the the kinds of personality that that uh, that want 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 these sorts of bikes. I love this part, and I, I was just debating where to go today. Uh, I was thinking of going up to, into uh, uh, Shropshire, but or, or Staffordshire really, and then over to Carrick and back, and. Uh, I planned the route using the beeline, but uh, then on the last minute I thought, I oh, know what I'll do, I'm going to go over to Long Mint. And uh, it's just, uh, I know it's one that I visit on a regular basis, but this, the scenery on the way to it, uh, as you can see, is bloody lovely. So uh, it's a nice location for a, for a ride of this stage. Hope Bowdler. Really do envy people that live in places like this. Probably somewhere I want to look to retire to, I think. Uh, village of this time, it's, yeah, just lovely villages. So, um, there you go, there's the uh, the reasoning behind why I've, uh, I've bought the bike. By the way, I'll put a link uh, to the QB Motorcycles website in the description for anybody who wants to go and have a look, if they're interested, then have a look what they do. But, uh, yeah, nice people and a uh, great service, so uh, I highly recommend it. Um, and what else is happening? Uh, not a lot really at the moment. Next few weeks, Kevin, Allen, Paul are on, uh, on the jolly, so uh, I think they're in uh, Greece or Cyprus or somewhere, not sure. Uh, so they're off for a, they're away for a week, so. Uh, I'm not around next weekend, so probably be the weekend after before I'm out and about again. Um, it's really just getting into a position for uh, for doing the trips now, the uh, the tours. Uh, the first Scotland one for the first week in July. I think I'm going to be taking this because uh, we're going in uh, in Paul's van. There's just me and Paul on that one, and we're going up in his van. So yeah, uh, I think I'm going to take this one for that trip. So hence the, read, the need to get the miles on and the service done over the next few weeks because I can't believe it's May already. Um, and then the Tracer 9 will be the one for the uh, NC500. Welcome to Church Street at the heart of the Shropshire Hills. So, uh, lovely place Church Street. I remember coming here as a kid with my mum once. Up onto Long Mind. Good 
bridge you break it. I don't know what gear I'm in. Yeah, it's something else I've got to get back used to. He's not been able to have a glance and see what gear I'm in. Uh, you just, uh, just get used to recognising what revs you're at. Knowing what gear you're in based on speed and revs. Just like we used to in the old days. So the only modern feature this bike's got uh, is uh, ABS. Uh, I suppose you could call fuel, I don't, I don't think you could call fuel injection a modern feature anymore, it's been around for so long. But there's, um, there's absolutely nothing, there's no traction control modes, uh, there's nothing. You've, uh, it's very, very basic, it is very much, uh, they are, I like what they're doing, it's, to, it's just keep it old school. Minimum for safety, but keep it old school. And, uh, and the simplicity again is something else that I quite like the idea of. So uh, there'll probably uh, be a few adventures together that me and this bike have that you'll, uh, you'll probably be sharing through the videos. Um, yeah, so we'll be uh, just through the town here and then we'll be up onto Longmin. So I reiterate it on most of my videos, but we are, we are bloody lucky with some of the places that we have just right on our doorsteps really, from where we live. I'll tell you something, I wasn't planning on getting wet earlier. Uh, no rain forecast today. We've come out this morning, a few very my few tiny spots on the tank, and I thought, oh well, nothing. Uh, so I set off anyway, and it got soaked. And, uh, but I'm drying out now, so hopefully I haven't caught pneumonia from my uh, from the today's ride out. As you you can hear the engine sound now a bit more clearly. Oh, it does sound bloody wonderful. Yeah, exceptionally low revs as well. The calf there might be visiting on the way back down. Wrong side of the road. How about that there? And I wonder why cyclists well, we get annoyed by cyclists. Anyway, enough of that. We're off on the hip. We're off on our way up to Long Bend. I just absolutely thought the sound of this. I think any louder would be uh, uncomfortable. What a place to live, eh? Oh, he's going to let me through, what a gentleman. Poor lady. There you go, the glorious view. It's low clouds today, it's probably going to be entering into the clouds shortly. Out for uh, kamikaze sheep. As you can see, just 
pull very nicely in there, uh, even at low revs. been up here and down the other side but I tell you what going down the other side was uh, uh, a bit hairy so I've no intention of doing it again today <laughs> going back down the way I came up yeah I thought so a bit uh, overcast And uh, it's just on a clear day, the, uh, the views from up here are stunning, to be honest. But we'll have a little look at the views going back down in a minute. Let's just find somewhere to pull over. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, there's a view down there to behold. Shropshire Hills. I'm so not much to see over there. Pity it's not clear because that would be absolutely stunning. But uh, yeah, there it is. And there she is again. Ow. Nude loves as well, by the way. Um, these have got touch. Uh, uh, phone sensitive fingertips so I can uh, start to use the chain which I think we've sussed out now how to use the chain so that's coming next so there we go there's a long wind I'll uh, rejoin as we head back shortly uh, right we're heading back My gloves out the oven. Lovely. I'll tell you what, I'm missing the heated grips today. Yesterday was the day I should have come out, but uh, it was Kate's birthday and we had a little uh, family get together, which was really nice. So, uh, priorities. And now, uh, right in back. We'll stop flying visit to Long Min and, uh, and we're heading home. Absolutely stunning.
just a return down the uh, down the hill here is not for the faint-hearted. <laughs> Stunning view. I don't know whether you can see it. This is putting his engine brake into the test anyway. natural as all really Gradient is down here. Oh, there you go. That was the uh, that was the long minf. I think. Turn over uh, um, Oh, just thinking Clee Hill Return over Clee Hill And have a stop up there But chatting to a fella up on, uh, on Long Mind And uh, as I expected, a bike like this, it, uh, it encourages people to stop and uh, engage in conversation. And uh, just a pleasure to have a chat with, uh, with him when he was asking me about how much bikes cost these days. And uh, I reminisced about the fact that he's, uh, his, his, uh, his parents didn't want him to have a bike. And uh, so he's never really had one. Uh, but uh, it's just the fact that uh, people really do show an interest in something like this slightly out of the ordinary retro so yeah nice
Uh, I was just saying this, uh, it's perfect for, for what we're doing, right, noodling around the countryside through villages and things like that. It's just, it's in its, uh, its sweet spot for that sort of thing, I think. minutes Yeah. <laughs> I used to say, I don't know what people have eaty gloves, you're a wimp if you've got eaty gloves. Now, I know exactly why people have eaty gloves. <laughs> so, this is Clear Hill. And out there, we're looking out over towards, I don't know, Ludlow, Tembury Wells. Over there, you're onto the Welsh marches. And if you're in that way, you're heading over towards, um, back over towards Bewley, Birmingham. So, there you go. That's Clay Hill. A great bunch of boys there. Just uh, had a chat with one of them. They're off down to Aberystwyth. Great to see the youngsters doing what we do. So, going home now. Not Long Min, what am I on about? I've been to Long Min. I'm off to uh, across Lee Hill now. There uh, should be a few twisties to see along here in a minute. Yeah, it was a uh, young lad there, and his mirrors at uh, his bar ends had come loose, so he's needed to tighten them up. I lent him uh, got the Allen keys used for the first time. <laughs> uh, they're off to have a risk with the Elan Valley by the looks of it. So, uh, just, uh, from Warsaw. I, uh, I really do think bikers are a particular sort of people. Uh, very always friendly, always interested in stopping and having a chat and helping each other out. It's, uh, it's great to be part of a community like that, it really is. Anyway. Let's go home and do a bit of cleaning. This is the town of Beaudley. A little childhood reminiscent of Beaudley. We came here one evening on a uh, coach trip, me and my mum. This would have been in the 
70s and one of these shops somewhere down here on the left um, she bought me a bow and arrow set with the rubber suction caps on the arrows so that's a little memory from my childhood about Bewdley and then another memory of Bewdley one of our returns from the Elam Valley back in the early 80s myself Phil and his then girlfriend Deb stopped on this road down there on the right hand side parked up our bikes and uh, had a break here on the way home from the Elam Valley so there's a couple of little memories of Bewdley I think I've got a photograph somewhere of our bikes parked over by the side of the river over there Ah, oh, the things we did oh, It's nice to look back on and remember places that you're a reminder but yeah bow and arrow that was the thing she bought me a bow and arrow set so we're at 83 miles now so I think we're gonna be far off getting me 100 miles in tonight just to round the day off I'll have a few twisties and uh, well just to say if you watch the video to the end thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it hope the uh, the new bikes of interest to you um, so you're going to need lots more videos of, uh, of the Tracer 9 and the uh, Interceptor 650 coming up through the coming weeks um, as always, please feel free to leave a thumbs up if you like uh, if you like the video, and uh, feel welcome to subscribe and uh, comments. Please comment away, and uh, so I do every time. I try my best to uh, respond to all comments, and uh, hope the channel's uh, of interest to you. And please make suggestions if you think there's something I could do that you'd like to see be interested in and I'll uh, potentially have a go at you. I've got a few ideas up my sleeve so I'll uh, you know, we'll see as, uh, as, as the time develops if they come to fruition and I'll share those with you as uh, once I've progressed them a little bit more but uh, I'll say thanks for watching and uh, take care and see you all again soon for, uh, for another video.